Here's the thing. Uh, Facebook followers, indeed any social media followers, it, followers do not equal customers. So they're extremely different things. And here's how to think about it. Lots of people, myself included, like the idea of going to the gym every day to stay fit. Lots of people like that idea. How many people actually do that? Next to sweet FA, all right? So big difference between liking a page and actually buying the product. Huge difference between those two things, as you can tell. So do not mistake followers for customers because they are very, very different things. So that's the first thing to note, all right? Second thing to note, most people outside of the Aussie Online Entrepreneurs that haven't done any of my training do social media so badly, it just beggars belief. Most people, their entire social media strategy amounts to setting up a Facebook page and then forgetting about it for the rest of the page's existence, all right? And then they think that they've done social media. Nothing could be further from the truth. Social media, I mean, the name gives it away. You've got to be interactive with your audience. If you want to build an audience of potential customers on social media, then you have to engage with them so that they become engaged with you. All right. And what you need on social media is engaged followers, not just followers. Because engaged followers will, uh, I've got a greater likelihood of becoming customers and zealots and brand ambassadors and all the rest of those cool things that social media can give you if you do it properly. So the first thing to consider, Ross, in your situation is, have you got engaged followers? And the easiest way you can find out is by putting a post on your page. Let's say it's a Facebook page, for instance. Put a post up, see how many people like it, comment on it, on it, something like that. If nobody does, or hardly anybody does, you haven't got you haven't got shit. You've got nada, and you need to kind of get to work to engage them back in it. So. In that situation, I would ignore your social media and use some other strategies, Google AdWords, uh, Facebook marketing, Amazon PPC, whatever it might be, and I would use those strategies to get your product launched. And while you're doing that, then you have to get to work engaging your audience so that they want to contribute, or they wanna be a part of your brand, they wanna be a part of your story that you're setting up for your company, all right? And you do that, of course, by, just like you would do with anybody, by just engaging with them, asking them questions, asking them how they are, and just being a good friend to them. That's really all social media is. It's, it's friendship at a distance. And if you follow those simple tenets of building relationships and friendships in the real world, apply them to social media, you too will have engaged customers that will be zealots for your products and brand. Hey, thanks so much for watching that video and I hope that you got some massive value from it. Before you go, do you live in Australia? If you do, this is for you. Would you like to learn how to sell things on Amazon here in Australia? Would you like to know what sells really, really well and what sells for the maximum amount of profit? Would you like to know where you can source those products from, whether that be in China or here in Australia and how to source them so you pay bottom, bottom dollar and get maximum value for what you're doing. If you do, please subscribe to my channel and like this video and you'll learn that and much, much more. It's the exact same information that people like Jeff from New South Wales I've used to make $45,000 a month on Amazon that Sue, who's from the sunny coast, has used to purchase herself a brand spankly BMW every single year as a result of her e-commerce business. And the lovely Kate from Barrel in New South Wales has used to make $32,000 a year on, uh, sorry, a month, not a year, a month on Amazon. And indeed, Anthony, who makes $15,000 a month on Amazon, selling, as he puts it, odds and sods. If you'd like to learn the exact same inf information that they use to maximize their profits for their Amazon businesses, subscribe to this video, like my channel, and post below if you want me to teach you something. Okay, I'm out of here. Speak to you soon. Bye.
Hey, subscribe, subscribe, do it now.